You know, it's not unusual for us guys to fake it every now and again. And of course, when I'm talking about that, I'm talking about guitar. Uh, for example, if you walk into a guitar shop and you want to pretend you're better than you actually are because you're buying your 17th guitar because obviously 16 is not enough and it has to be an expensive one. It has to be a Martin or something. So you want to pick up the expensive guitar off the rack <clears throat> and you realise that you can only play a couple of chords. Makes you a little self-conscious, right? Because why would you be buying your 17th guitar and spending so much money on a guitar when, you know, you can't play that well yet? <clears throat> so maybe you want to pretend that you can so that you can justify not to your wife or your partner uh, but to the people that are in the store. You want to sound a bit better. Now, don't get me wrong, they don't care. They don't care what you play. In fact... The people that work at the guitar store are generally the coolest people on the planet. So you've never got a reason to be self-conscious. But at the same time, you maybe just want something that sounds nice. That justifies the great guitar that you're holding in your hands. <clears throat> so that's what I'm going to show you today. Something that you can do to fake it until you make it. But in general, what I'm going to show you today is a really cool lesson. It's something, regardless of where you are in your guitar journey, you can apply to the chords that you, you play. <clears throat> and it just sounds really cool at the end of the day. So... Let's just get right into it, right? So the chords that we're going to be calling today will be a G, a C, and a D, but we're going to be playing them in a much cooler fashion. And we're going to be doing it in a very easy fashion. We only need two fingers. Okay, so the first thing we need to know is the G major scale. <clears throat> okay, because we're playing in the key of G, and we're going to do some cool stuff with that knowledge. All right, so what I want you to do is get your finger on the third note, or the third uh, fret of the low E. Okay, this is the G note. And then we're going to climb up the G major scale by doing this. 3, 5, 7, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15. Now what I'm doing there, right, this is the formula to find the major scale anywhere in the fretboard, regardless of where you start. If I start here, this will be the G major scale because this is the G note. We start with the root. And then we've got a whole step, a whole step, a half step. Whole step, whole step, half step. Whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. <clears throat> and in guitar terms, that just means two frets, two frets, one fret. So a half step is one fret, the fret next door. A full step is two frets. Okay, so we've got G, A, B, C, D, F sharp and back to G. All right, root, whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. Now, you know, don't get me wrong, this is not going to be a theory deep lesson, but <clears throat> that knowledge is very useful, okay? Because what we're going to do now is turn that into chords. <clears throat> now, we do that, we need to apply the next formula, all right? When we have the seven notes of the major scale, Do it right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, then back to the root again. <clears throat> All right, we apply this formula major, minor, minor, major, major, minor, diminish. Don't worry about that. Back to major again. All right, so we've got G major, A minor, B minor, C major, D major, E minor, F sharp diminished, and G. That's all the chords in G. In the key of G. They are all the chords, the family, that are going to be harmonious together when we're playing in that key. <clears throat> so what do we do now? So, um, we, to make those chords, we can do something really cool using thirds, all right, which is a cool technique, which sounds great, and it's really easy to do. You just put your middle finger, or any finger, but I'm going to use my middle finger, on the third note, the G note, and I'm going to apply the major shape, okay? The root here on three, and then I'm going to take the third of the chords, which is the fourth fret on the G string. Every chord has uh, three, well, major and minor chords have three notes in them. Okay, the one, the three, and the five. We're just playing two of them. You're playing the one and the three, which sounds pretty cool. All right, and that's the major shape here that we're playing here, right? Basically, you just need to remember this shape. If I want to play a G minor, you flatten the third by just taking the note back here and basically play the notes in the same fret. All right, on the E and G string. So major, minor, G major, G minor. So if I want to play A minor, I make the minor shape. I want to play B minor, 
and make the minor shape. I want to play C major and make the major shape. D major, E minor. Now instead of playing F sharp diminished, right, you can replace that cheekily with an F sharp minor. Sounds pretty cool. And G major. Okay, so G major, A minor, B minor, C major, D major, E minor, F sharp, minor, G major. Kind of sounds a bit like Blackbird, right? <clears throat> Alright. Now let's just say I want to play my C and my G, my C and my D. So I find my G here, my C here, major shape, D here, major shape. So I might just start something really quite ambient like this. So if you play around with that, you can mix up with the chords <clears throat> and come up with something. But the next thing I want to show you, right, is actually using the rest of the major scale to fill in the gaps here. Alright, so I know that I've got G, C and D, but I've got these other notes to work with around about. <clears throat> so let's see if I can fill in the blanks. Alright, maybe... doing there is using the notes, the chords that I have in the major scale to create something cool. Fill in the blanks between the chord progressions. So G, I just climb up the major scale, A minor, B minor, to C, come up to F sharp the minor, F sharp the minor, F sharp minor, E minor, D, and then B, back. I can play the F sharp minor here as well in the second fret to resolve to the G. Alright. Yeah. <clears throat> so, lots of cool stuff you can do to mess around with that. I just thought I'd share that with y'all. Um, let me know if you liked that lesson. I think, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, but thanks very much for joining me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. Take it easy, and I'll see you in the next one.